and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL. And today we have an arrowhead. This time I doubled the pattern seven, oh, excuse me, four, seven, two, five, six. And basically took a zigzag. And when we mirrored it, it became an arrowhead. And this unlocked a memory for me. I swear to God, back in the 80s, I was playing around with like two color bracelets. And when I only knew how to do knots going to the left and knots going to the right, I made a arrowhead. And it wasn't until like I was filling in, because I, I really rushed at doing the uh, how-to video for this, right? Um, the pattern making part. Um, but when I got around to it, um, I started realizing that you don't have to zigzag the knots like a normal arrowhead does. And so I made this uh, doing it where every knot is either a left or a right, nothing else. And it didn't really change much. There wasn't, there wasn't a particular string that got used all that much more. There wasn't whatever. So this basically becomes a pattern for beginners. Um, I do manage to make a mistake somewhere in it. I don't know what I was doing. I got distracted, but, and I really shouldn't. I've made so many arrowheads in the past, um, but I did something wrong. I don't remember how, but um, it did go a lot faster. This was probably just under an hour of actual making it. So yeah, it was pretty quick. Um, and yeah, it's one where I didn't have to look at the pattern because it's just an arrowhead. Um, but, well, I say that. I did double check to make sure that the number of times it went to the dark green counted out correctly because I wanted to end it as it was in the pattern that I created. Um, and I know I've probably mentioned this in previous videos, but for me, something with my ADHD, if, it's so weird. I don't understand why, but it works like this. I'll count how many is in the pattern, and I think it's six. And then I'll count how many I have, and let's say that was four. Okay, so I got two more to go. And I'll get going, and after I make one, I'm like, wait, how many was the original? Okay, I go back and I have to count it. I actually have to count it. But like, oh, you're right, six. And then I'll go back to the bracelet. Wait, how many do it have I made? It happens every single time. I, I can't explain it other than like that. But it happens, and I don't understand. And I don't know if it's just ADHD thing or like having made mistakes in the past i'm like super paranoid so i have to like double check or if that's like it sounds like ocd or something but it, i don't think it is it's not like uh yeah i don't know why i just i can't retain it anyway um it's a cute fun little pattern to do uh definitely you know think that Anybody pretty much can do this now that I know that you can just do it with the two directional strings. Um, I did ponder the possibility of trying to do it where like one solid and one variegated, but when I kind of looked over the pattern for doing that, um, I think it would only kind of really work if you added the zigzag. And I just wanted to try to do it with the straight ones just to see whether or not like there was going to be a one of the strands just getting used more than the others, you know, in particular. But um, I think you, if you're going to go with the variegated, mo mostly because one of the things about the variegated is it's gradual change between one color and the next. And if you are going straight there's going to be a lot of instances where it's just going to be changing direction and it would make for it wouldn't have that cool fade from one to another thing um not wrong it just kind of ruins some of the why 
variegated floss is kind of interesting in the first place. So uh, it's up to you. I mean, if you want to try it, by all means, you could, you could try it and just have it doing abrupt changes and stuff. Uh, um, me personally, I think that it just isn't quite as nice. Um, also, I wouldn't do it where both colors are variegated. Uh, for one, it makes the pattern really kind of busy. Um, less, unless they really, uh, there are people who hand dye floss, so there is that, that possibility that you could maybe do something like really super cool that like I'm not imagining, but like most of the store bought variegated stuff, I would probably just do a solid and a variegated. If you're going to try it. If you have something that's cooler, if you want to prove me wrong, send me a photo over on Discord. Um, I would love to see it. I love getting inspired and um, occasionally maybe I don't get it right. You know, that's a possibility. Although, I have tried a lot of stuff, guys. I have tried, you know, lots of variegated stuff. And um, it doesn't always turn out as nice as one quite cool. Um, yeah, so just a little 12 strand bracelet here. It is really cute. Um, I went with a really like a yellow green and a dark and a forest green. And uh, yeah, it's nice. Oh, just realized this ends abruptly. So I need to thank my Patreon supporters as well as my YouTube members for making this possible. Thank you guys so much. I say this every video, um, both because I want to have this screen come up and show who all has helped me out, but because it genuinely has helped me to grow as a channel, to persist on doing what I enjoy, because being monetized doesn't doesn't really cover the expenses of web pages and all the equipment and stuff, and. I'm, I'm actually hoping to upgrade some of the equipment uh, in the near future. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. I really want to try to, to make the lighting better, to try to make some of the other aspects of what I do look just nicer and better. So we'll see how that goes. Fingers crossed. Um, this is kind of a shorter video. I'm not sure how much there is left of it it just it really repeats there is a bit of like um segmental nodding to it because of how you get to stay to one bit do a bunch that's kind of probably why i really enjoyed arrowheads in the first place is the fact that you get to stay focused on one side for a bit and i but yeah trying this out and with only left and right, man, serious flashbacks. Like that was, that was really early in my nodding adventures where I felt that I could do anything. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard the story, but there was uh, a lady who asked me to uh, basically rebuild a bracelet that she had. And I was confident that there wasn't a, a design out there I couldn't figure out. And then I tried to figure hers out, and I couldn't. I was really freaked out by it. Like, it doesn't make sense. How is it changing? Why it? And then the epiphany came, and I realized, like, wait a second. And so I did a single-stranded bracelet. The first one I did with the zigzag knot was a single-stranded because I was afraid of doing it where I used up too much string at once and getting it wrong. And so I tried it out and realized it was working. And I was like, oh yeah, rebuilt her bracelet and then immediately started trying to work out uh, how to make what would become basically my signature pattern, the pattern that's actually tattooed on my arm and stuff. Um, because her pattern, it was like an arrowhead came in and then flipped the other way. And I realized that there should be like a, a yin yang to it, like, you know, uh, top and the bottom that perfectly matched 
And once I figured that out, yeah, oh man, went holy well with that pattern. Did all kinds of stuff. Did a lot after that. That, that really changed everything. Fun times. Whole, feels like a whole different lifetime ago. Um, so I just checked the computer. There's like three minutes left. I thought I sped this one up more. And I was like, it's just an arrowhead. Nobody's going to want to listen to this. If you're still here, thank you. Really, seriously, thank you. You guys are the best. You should make a comment down below so that AWOL says I'm the best. You have my permission. Um... I don't think there's anything else on whatever the ship. Can you tell it's early? Is I'm still drinking coffee. Um. Yeah, this is the kind of pattern that you could just keep. It uses all the strings real, really even. You could try to extend this down further if you're looking to maybe try to make it an anklet or something. That's one of the nice things about when patterns to use the even is that you can go longer. It's the other pattern quicker, you know, you have to plan out more in advance. Well, I say that. I would probably do the zigzag knots if I was trying to make it longer because then you're sure that all the strands are getting used evenly. Um, this was pretty close, but I imagine maybe there's a possibility that it could be off if you try to go long. I just don't want to get you guys into trouble. Um, it's so fun to watch these things sped up. I really do get a kick out of it. Close my mind. I did that in real time. That's what it looks like. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm so amused by that. It, especially after how many videos already? Three, three, three. So, um, yeah. Again, thank you guys for hanging out. I really, it does mean a lot. It, it changes the way that YouTube like looks at a video. It, it, there are people who watch it from beginning to end. They're like, oh, that must have been a nice video because they aren't like leaving partway through. So people who hang around really do help the channel more than you probably think. Yeah. I wish I was had kept count as to how far down I don't think there's a whole lot left. So we're playing. Yeah, like really not much. This game for Jen. So, anyways, thank you guys for hanging out. And um, if you have questions, leave me a comment. Ask questions. Um, questions lead to better videos. So I definitely appreciate that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> that was me counting to see if I was. There, there we go. All right. Thanks, and uh, as always, don't get your strings in the bunch.